We told them we we'll demote them, we we'll destroy the Zoological Republic. Finally, they are no longer officially, they are no longer giant of Africa again. Now they have occupied the position of the dwarf of Africa. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's wonderful because it's because of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu who has no certificate, forgery and everything up and down. You know, the international bodies, the UN of course, of course the United Nations, they voted and they finally, Nigeria got three votes, three votes. Other countries got hundreds of votes. I want that documentary to be read for you right now. Please listen to what happened. <laughs> I will be right back. Today in the UN United Nations General Assembly, today they heard the USA. They could not see. In fact, Nigeria got ordinary. In fact, three votes while Ghana they gave 157 votes. Oh my, they could not share this video. They could not see how they disgrace. Nigeria internationally. Oh, the statement reads, Nigeria faced to secure United Nations Human Rights Council seat, losing status as giant of Africa and Miss Tinubu Chicago State University certificate for Jere Musoboji. So they said, as the United Nations General Assembly held on Tuesday, 15 new countries were elected to serve on the Human Rights Council which saw the purposely giant of Africa miss out after only attracting three votes. This is embarrassing. This comes following the discovery that President Bola Tinobu for the Chicago State University certificate he filed with the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC to contest the 2023 presidential election and the Nigerian reputation is now at stake internationally. Meanwhile, the UN elected 15 new countries to serve on the Human Rights Council. However, African countries like Burundi, Malawi, and Cote d'Ivoire secured seats with a big margin of difference right above Nigeria. Just imagine Malawi, Cote d'Ivoire. Malawi topped the voting list for African nations after attracting 182 votes followed by Cote d'Ivoire with 181 votes and Ghana with 179 votes. Burundi followed Ghana with 168 votes. Nigeria got the poorest and poorest votes in the assembly with just three votes. <laughs> Indonesia received 186 votes in Asia and the Pacific followed by Kuwait, 83 votes, Japan, 175 votes, and China, 154 votes. Bulgaria won 161 votes in Eastern Europe, followed by Albania, 123, and Russia, 83. The, the, the re-election of Russia to the Human Rights Council was an ongoing process after it left the body on April 7, 2022. Cubana received 146 votes in Latin America and the Caribbean, followed by Brazil, 144 votes, the Dominican Republic, 137, and Peru, 108. The Dominican Republic has never been, has never before been elected to Human Rights Council. The Netherlands received 169 votes in Western Europe and other regions, and France received 153 votes. On January 1st, 2024, the newly admitted nations will join Algeria, Argentina, Bangladesh, Belgium, Benin, Benin Republic, Cameroon, Chile, Costa Rica, Eritrea, Finland, Gambia, Georgia, Germany. All these countries will be joining you know, United Nations from next year, January 2024. Then, the, pre the primary UN Organization for Human Rights, the Human Rights Council, is in charge of defending and developing universal freedoms. It was established in 2006, and the majority of the General Assembly's members choose its 47 member states in a secret vote. Its seats are allocated among regional groups of states as follows Africa 13, Asia Pacific 13, Eastern Europe 6, Latin America and the Caribbean, and Western Europe and others, and others 7. This ensures an equitable 
ge geographical distribution. We are moving. Yes. They are gone, but they don't want to make you to believe that it is real. But looking at things, are you seeing this as a nation? Or are you seeing things that things will be amended? Why can't you tell yourself the truth? Why can't you join the moving train? Why can't you let this one bust out into new nations that people will take care of? These have been siphoned by dens of thieves. The dens of vultures. They have, you know, devoured Nigeria. What you are seeing today is imaginary. Nothing is working. Police not working. Military foolish. Everything upside down. And yet, they want you to believe in sham elections that they are planning here and there, where they have already written the result by INEC, uh, you know, giving the results and the certificate at the back, and then the day they will pr do the official presentation, it is something they must have given since that they are repeating. That is how they run Nigeria, Banana Republic. Yesterday, a man was crying, saying, what kind of thing is this? That hopes of them are brought angry looking policemen angry with pump actions everybody they have pump actions waiting for a is that how to conduct election if you say you're in democratic setting is that why are you with guns and bullets are you are you a hunter are you a criminal so why are you carrying guns and bullets up and down and you and you want people to come out out of their comfort zones with their own transportation, with their own time, with their own money, they will eat their own food and still come and queue up to do your sham election that you've done your selection since. Why are you camouflaging up till now? I think by now Nigeria should not be talking about election because the election that brought about a bat, bat also uh, on seat was not election. Of course, it was selection and vote buying vote buying money venture vote buying and that is why the dollar is hyped for him to recover all the billions and trillions that he lavished on on vultures like him because i won't call them human beings i will not if i call them human beings i am debasing what god curated that's it you know what there is no and there shouldn't be election in Biafra land. If we from now advise you and up till that day you come out from your house, know that you don't deserve to live. Yes, if anything happens to you, nobody should cry for you. That's just the truth. Tell your people, tell mama, tell daddy, tell children, tell the youth, tell them to save their lives. Stay at home. See it at home. There is nothing like Nigeria. See it and relax. Okay? I'll be right back.